Hello and welcome. I'm Nate 42 and this is 3D printer modification number nine. We'll have a huge overhaul on the printer over the next few episodes, so stay tuned. Welcome back. And today, as part of this huge overhaul on the printer, I will be fixing a new issue that I have, which is with the coupler. I will be adding new stuff to the head, which I've been waiting to do for ages, and I'll be attempting to replace the fan in the power supply. So, let's go. So what made me want to open this up and do any of this was the fact that my printer was jamming at the bottom of the Z-axis. It made a horrible noise and hopefully no long-term damage was done. I needed to see what was causing this issue. And I thought to myself, might as well do everything else while I'm here. Here's a picture of the coupler before. Somehow, I managed to push it down and now it seems to have tightened itself, which is really good. I'm so glad that it worked. I'll need to get myself a new one of them soon, but for now, it works. So, yeah. I might try printing one of them myself, as I found models for them uh, online on Thingiverse. So, it's apparently possible, so I'll probably give that a go. Next up, I started with the print head. I had a bit of a bodged fan cover, there was the fans, they were sitting up fairly well on the standard mount, so I started off by removing the mount and used the one I printed previously. I'm pretty sure I've done a video on that stuff already. If I can find it, I'll leave a link in the description below. If not, then I'll try and find the file. But this is Thingiverse, there's a lot of them. If I find that, it will be in the description below as well. So that's two down, one to go. I needed to switch these fans over. It was way too loud and annoying. Okay, this is the current noise of it. It starts up with that noise, which is really annoying. There was surprisingly no blades missing from the fan. It just sounded awful. And I've actually seen fans with missing blades uh, for other members on some of the Vector Free printer clubs. On top of that, I also read on there that the fan at the bottom of the case is the same as the one uh, in the power supply. So I switched them around and now it's not spinning at all. So I'm going to have to twist it around in the power supply to see if maybe I put the fan's power plug in the wrong way. But I've got to say, it's a heck of a lot quieter without the PSU fans, which is nice. But I wouldn't run it that way, as it's most likely a fire hazard. So be warned, don't try this at home. Anyway, I'll be back in the next episode where I will switch the fan plug around install the Raspberry Pi, route all the cables, and hopefully get it all back together. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter, that is at nafo42, and thanks for watching.